Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about how ChatGPT can be used by business analysts, consultants or product managers to enhance their productivity and efficiency. So I'm not going to say that it is going to solve all of your problems, but anybody who needs a good tool to do research, write requirements, ChatGPT is really a good tool for them. So let's just start with this. So idea here is quite simple. We always talk about pain points. Now, what is the pain point for a business analyst, product manager or consultant? We work a lot on case studies, requirements or just doing market research, isn't it? We use Google primarily along with YouTube or any other tool in your region. Now you will go run some query. Google will return tons of results. You'll go through them, compile data and then you move forward. It's better if we can find something which just give us a good starting point because a lot of time we are just shooting in the dark, especially if you are a new guy in the system or just new to the domain. For example, let's say I don't know anything about Salesforce and I need to write a user story uh, for its integration. Now I ran that query in the chat bot and the response is not impressive. So I left it. I'll come back to it later just to show you uh, how we can play with it and tweak it. But then I ran a query. What is SAP HANA? Now I don't know anything about SAP HANA. I could run a query in the Google and go through all the documentation or I can just go through this, you know, few lines here, which gives me a good starting point. It provides me an information which is good to begin with. And that's what I'm trying to say. So with this information, now I know what is SAP HANA. But before we move forward, if you like this video or find it useful, please subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you have any questions, you can leave your comment. And yes, don't worry about the sales force. We'll come back to it. So SAP HANA is just an example to illustrate. Point is that when you are working on different projects or products, you will come across different tools, technologies, or just subjects where you are completely new. And we need answers to very basic questions like what is SAP HANA? Now, in this case, it gives me some information and then I can build upon it. And that's how you do your research. So now I can use that information to move forward. So again, I just came up randomly with this question, but you can ask it anything. So I'm saying, how do you integrate SAP HANA in your existing system? I'm not even specifying what kind of system. So it is giving me few options, replication, visualization, and everything which I can do with it. And then I can further build upon it, write a system requirement to integrate it with AWS MySQL. Again, I'm not getting into details of anything, but you can see that I can quickly generate information which is really useful for me. And as a product manager, as a business analyst or a consultant, this is lifesaver because you might be spending days just to figure out these things. And here, again, you have to customize it as per your use case, but you can keep asking questions and then it will keep creating or rather generating this information. So I started with what is SAP HANA. Now I'm asking it to write system requirements and I can take it a notch further and ask it to write user stories or anything. So you can see that the information here is really good, especially in technical domains. It has been seen that it is good. Now I'm just asking it to write a user story to integrate payment gateway. Now payment is again a very common thing nowadays, whether you are in e-commerce or bank insurance, any other domain, chances are you will deal with payment gateways. So I just asked it to write a simple user story. And if you are a new business analyst or product owner, you'll be scratching your head. You'll be doing a lot of research, but here you are getting something like a boilerplate user story. Now, of course you can go back to your company's documentation, see what kind of information is captured as part of a user story. But if you are a new guy knows nothing about payment or how to write a user story, this is going to be a lifesaver for you. 
because usually you will be watching videos going through articles which won't provide you a starting point but here with this information i can just copy it paste it and then customize it of course i'm not saying just copy paste it always customize it so this user story where we are also having a detailed acceptance criteria is fairly good now i can again i'm not getting into the details of the acceptance criteria or user story in general whether it is a smart or not but point is just by scanning through it i can tell you that it is a good starting point it is covering bases and if i were to just use it and customize it based on my company's or project requirements i'm quite close i'm not there but i'm quite close so to write user story this is really good but let's say you want to write product requirements now product managers spend most of the time writing these requirements and if you see here for payment integration it is also talking about things like in the first point pci dss uh, compliance now it is covering all your bases multiple payment methods in the integration multi currency and what not so then to further probe it i went to this mckinsey website i got this case study i just took the case study from here so i'll just copy it paste it there and i will ask it to answer questions i haven't gone through the case study so i don't know what exactly it is but i'll just put this information there so i have copied and pasted everything here now if you see this is a case study where people will spend a lot of time going through the details isn't it and any case study and if you have done any case study as even as part of your mba you know it requires a lot of effort and a lot of time goes into the research i'll say most of the time but here it is giving me inputs which are if i show you the solution here if you see they are kind of quite close i mean of course it's written by some consultant mckinsey consultant so it's better more concise but if you are preparing for some interview then i can take this information and fine tune it so instead of let's say putting 48 hours in research i could be done in 12 hours and remember this is not going to replace human this is not going to replace us this is going to improve our workflow so that's how you should take it now it's a chatbot so it improves upon the engagement so then i further so then i went ahead and added the second question also so you have to engage it so now it has got the context it has the case study if i can just put this question here it will give me a response to that answer and always take it bits and pieces step by step if you just randomly ask something chances are output may not be very good but let's say i'm not happy with this output i can always regenerate the response or i can ask more about something so in this case i'm going to ask about reward program so it is going to further drill down and elaborate on one particular point and that's the way you should move forward you should you shouldn't just copy paste so it has given you nine points let's say i need more information on reward program or anything else i will ask more about it and it is not giving me the just some generic information it is going through the questions which i have already asked so it already has a context now of course it's a chatbot so sometime the response you might get may not be as per your requirement as per your satisfaction in that case you can always use the button at the bottom and click on regenerate response so now it will know that the response it has just provided is not good and it will go back and work on it further sometime it might be instant sometime it might take a while and remember it's a new tool and there is millions of people are using it and if you're not using it you are getting left behind but at this stage the infrastructure is not very good so sometimes you'll get errors or sluggish response bear with it it can provide you really good information so while we are waiting for it to generate 
let me quickly recap what i have said so far use it to improve your productivity use it to improve your efficiency and workflow this is not there to replace you but if you are a business analyst product manager consultant or anybody who needs to do research this is a damn fine tool you must be using it in fact i think it will be quite common in next few years even if it is not i don't see any harm so now it is regenerating that response again it may be good it may not be good that's not the point here i'm not even going through the details point is it can add a lot of value for you and if so far you have been doing something in let's say 160 hours which is simply a month 40 hours per week now you could do same thing in 100 hours or maybe use those 160 hours to produce better value and when you create better value you grow well your growth is always proportional to your to the value created by you for your organization for your team now let's quickly go back to our salesforce problem and see how we can address it if we hit something like that so i just asked it to write a salesforce integration user story out of nowhere and it couldn't actually understand the question itself so if you are encountering a situation like this follow the approach which we used for sap hana so i started by asking what is sap hana so if i say what is a uh, Uh, let's say what is salesforce crm so now it's a chatbot so it understand that i'm talking about salesforce crm it will provide me that information you know the key um, attributes properties of the product and once it is done with these details then i can engage it further to write user stories or product requirements or do whatever kind of research i want so now if i say write a product requirement for integration of sales automation with salesforce crm with my website now it understand the context that context has been set all chatbots whether it's chat gpt or any other chatbot you used they essentially use the context to generate content so in this case now the content or other context is set to salesforce and i can use it to further drill it down so let's say it has generated this content now i can say and let's say i need a user story for seamless integration so if i just say that write a user story for seamless integration of course this is not the right way the integration will have many more user stories but just to highlight that how you should break it down and how you should proceed ahead so now you can see that it can write user story for salesforce as well so as i have said earlier it's a very good tool for product managers business analyst or anybody who does research of any kind and of course i mean if you can write requirements or for that matter generate code it is definitely going to improve your productivity and it would be a waste if we don't use it if you want me to cover or talk about any specific domain or any specific issue please leave your comment and yes don't forget to subscribe because i'm going to talk a lot about ai conversational chatbots in general and of course i will come back to chat gpt and different use cases okay thank you